Leur visage raconte l'histoire de la douleur et du désespoir, mais derrière leurs yeux pleins de larmes se cache une lueur d'espoir et de survie. Dans cette école, chaque fille étudie avec son enfant. Celles qui n'ont pas d'enfants sont enceintes. So the girls that we have here are between the ages of 13 to 19. They are uh, school going girls. They have babies and we have who are pregnant and as you have seen they will deliver any time. Because I think uh, this is their yeah, they are they are almost delivering. Les difficultés de la vie sont communes à tous. Des jeunes aux personnes âgées, les riches et les pauvres, tout le monde est affecté par la difficulté de la vie. Mais pour les mères adolescentes, la vie n'est pas dure pour elles-mêmes, elle l'est elle encore plus pour leurs enfants. C'est ce qu'a constaté Elisabeth Wandioro, qui a décidé de jouer son rôle dans la résolution de ce problème. I, it, it was still a struggle because I was still very young. I just finished my secondary school education, and uh, it it did not. It was not an easy journey. I walked the journey, and I had support from my family and some of my friends. La première fois que nous avons entendu parler de ce centre, nous avons rapidement planifié une visite et entrepris un long voyage au nord-ouest de Nairobi, dans la ville de Nakuru. C'est là que se trouve Serena Vin, qui est opérationnelle depuis trois ans. To be honest, right now, I have, at the moment, here inside the rescue center, I have about 20 girls. So the rescue center is like it's full. So we cannot take in anymore. Uh, and um, not that we don't have space. We have space, but we don't have the funds. Par l'intermédiaire de GivingLife.com, la communauté Afumax a donné de l'argent pour aider cette école, et cette fois-ci. Nous avons revisité le centre et remis les dons contre lui. Elle était ravie et a remercié tous ceux qui ont contribué à améliorer la vie de ces femmes enceintes et de ces mères adolescentes. Well, my youngest mother here is 13 years old. Her baby is now one year. So I'm looking at this girl, she's in grade six. She has to go all the way to high school. Still primary. Yeah, primary. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at her and I know this girl will be with us for some time. Because I've tried looking for her relatives and most of, actually we have not even found any. And How did um, you get her? By, by the children officer. Mm -hmm. she, she was rescued after her stepfather raped her. Repeatedly. Mm -hmm. So, and her mother, her mother ran away. Those are, those are common stories here. Yeah, they, they, we have like like five of those stories. Same, the stepfather, mother ran away. The stepfather raped her, or the stepfather raped her, and the mother sided with the stepfather. So both of them were arrested. You 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 get. So this girl has no one else to go back to, because the relatives of the stepfather are already on her case. You are the one who reported our son. You understand? The mother is looking at her. You are the one who has ruined my marriage. It, that's how people look at it. I don't know who, how that kind of a sick mentality it comes from. Yeah, someone is 13 or 14. Les mères adolescentes qui sont accueillies ici passent le reste de leur grossesse au centre jusqu'à l'accouchement. Le centre dispose de tout ce qui peut aider les jeunes femmes enceintes à survivre. Il dispose des babysitters qui s'occupent des enfants en bas âge pendant que leurs mères suivent des cours.
Pour que tout soit possible, Elisabeth a reçu des dons de diverses personnes et depuis notre dernière visite, elle a vu de nombreuses personnes venir visiter son centre et lui proposer leur aide. There are people who reached out once, they sent their contribution once, there are others now who became, I got three of them who are partners who, yeah, every month, every wow. month, every month, yeah, so I am happy. Yeah, yeah we are happy, <laughs> yeah. we are happy too. Yeah. Mais même si les gens contribuent à aider le centre, les factures pour s'occuper de ces mères adolescentes et de leurs enfants ne cessent d'augmenter. Le centre a fourni trois repas par jour, tandis que la nourrisson prend du lait, de la bouillie et d'autres nutriments pour les aider à bien grandir. Il y avait une fille à peu près au même temps de mon village qui s'est pregnant. Mais elle, je pense qu'elle n'a pas eu le même genre de support que j'ai eu. Elle s'est mariée. So by the time I came to graduate, she had already gotten like two other children and had already been chased out of her, her husband's home. So I started looking at her and I was like, this could have been me, were it not somebody held my hand. You see? So in my mind I knew that if I do not hold the hand of a teenage mother, this is what her life would be worse than this. So the first time I met a teenage mother now, someone that I did not know, she was 14. And I was looking at this girl, she was an orphan. She had her father, but her father was like, he was not mentally stable and the mother had died. So I was looking at this girl and I knew this would be the end for her. She will either get married at this age or she will, you know, she will sleep on the street with this girl, with this baby. And we tried to look for a place to place her and we eventually we got a Elisha who decided to take her in, but it was hard to even get a place to take her. Ce qui n'est pas facile puisque les enseignants professionnels de l'école devront être payés à la fin du mois. À cela s'ajoute le matériel supplémentaire nécessaire à la classe, notamment les livres, les craies, etc. Les études sont très importantes dans ces centres car elles préparent ces jeunes femmes qui doivent retourner dans leur communauté à un moment donné. C'est pourquoi le centre s'efforce de fournir une meilleure éducation afin de donner à ces jeunes femmes une nouvelle chance dans leur vie. The, the dream and the vision is to make uh, Serene Haven a place where these girls can call home, first of all, where they can get education and where they can live when they are able to stand on their two feet. That is my dream. That when I release the girl from the gate together with her baby, she has a job, she has a house. She will not have to go looking for a man to support her, unfortunately. Because that's what happens when they live here before, when they, when they are on the streets with the babies, they will go sleeping around to get money. And in the process of sleeping around, she'll get pregnant again. If she gets pregnant twice, thrice when she's, be, she's before 18, and again, if she does not have any skills or any education, the employment will not come by. In this country, it's not easy to get a job. Tous ces services auxquels s'ajoutent les loyers et le paiement des marchandises nécessitent beaucoup d'argent et c'est pourquoi Elisabeth demande aux gens de continuer à faire des dons pour que cette initiative puisse survivre. Par week, I get about 10 calls in a week. People asking, uh, can I get space? Uh, there we have this girl and this girl. She's done this, this, then she's going through this. Can you take her in? And um, it, it's hard. Especially now these 13 year olds and 14 year olds and here there's a 14 year old who was, who was raped, she's pregnant, she was going to school, now she can no longer go to school, she's living with an elderly grandmother and I have to say no because I can, I, we are stretched to be honest. But as I said, we have space, we have empty rooms, you've seen them, we can keep in more beds but we don't have the financial capacity because the girls need to eat, the babies need to eat, they need to go to school. We need to have someone who will take care of the babies during the day. These girls will need books. They will need clothes. You know, it's it's when you take in the baby and the mother, it's a full responsibility and you do not know for how long you will be with them. So I am very happy and uh, may God continue blessing them and expanding their territories. And uh, for, for they continue supporting the program because the girls are here, the babies are here, they are still growing. And as they grow older, the needs become more. You see, like those ones who are almost standing here three years, it means next year they need to be in school. So we will start now paying school fees for their mother and for the baby. So far we have not had any baby who goes to school, but I know next year we will have these ones who are two and a half, next year they'll join classes.
Les adolescentes mères ont besoin d'une aide, en particulier de conseils. Le centre ne compte qu'une seule bénévole qui vient une fois par mois pour conseiller les jeunes femmes. Mais elle ne suffit pas et Elisabeth souhaite que d'autres bénévoles prennent les choses en main, car le centre n'a pas encore réuni des fonds supplémentaires pour payer des conseillers professionnels. So if there's somebody out there who would like to volunteer to cancel to do counseling for our girls, I would really be happy because we have one. She comes once, once every month and she's overwhelmed because the girls have been through a lot. So every girl wants to talk to her and she's she's a volunteer. So she comes once a month. We we, we try to to give her transport to and from Nyeri. You, you've been to Nyeri, it's far, you know that. And uh, so she tries her best and uh, she's helping our girls. So if she is busy, that month she will not come. And you see, it doesn't work very well because the girls need constant counseling. And um, so that's why we do the group discussions, the group therapy. The group therapy is very good. Lorsque ces femmes quitteront le centre à l'avenir, Elisabeth souhaite qu'elles soient capables de se débrouiller seules car elles seront en concurrence avec des personnes qui n'ont certainement pas eu les mêmes problèmes qu'elles. Pour pouvoir rivaliser avec elles, Elisabeth fait de son mieux pour leur inculquer la discipline et l'esprit de travail qui selon elle les mèneront loin. They have to do homework, assignment, because... You know, they are competing with the rest of the world. Mm. They are competing with the rest of the students in their class who do not have babies. So we cannot really, we cannot say that we are going to be easy on them because they are mothers. The world is not easy on them even if they are mothers. One over, two. one over two. And the reciprocal of... Malgré les expériences difficiles qui les ont amenées dans ces centres, ces jeunes mères ont montré qu'elles sont plus que des victimes. Elles sont des combattantes déterminés à retrouver leur dignité et à reconstruire une vie. Les portes du centre seront toujours ouvertes à tous ceux qui en ont besoin et sa mission continuera d'être une lueur d'espoir pour les jeunes femmes qui ont été confrontées à des défis inimaginables. Anybody who is watching this, I would humbly request you to come on board and support Serene Haven Rescue Center so that we can be able to reach out to more girls in Kenya and in Africa because teenage pregnancy is not only it's not a problem only in Kenya. It's a problem in many African countries, but we, we, so that's why we are asking you to come on board and help us to be able to continue taking care of these girls. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Afrimax team for coming. Thank you so much for, for, for the interest that you've shown to the work that we do. And thank you so much for, airing and, uh, for covering and airing our story. And we pray and thank God for you and pray that you'll be blessed. Merci d'avoir suivi ces documents. C'était Afrimax français. N'oubliez pas de vous abonner.